L is the line 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. The line K contains the point 1, 1 and is perpendicular to L. Find the equation of K. To find the equation of K, or the equation of any line, we need a point on K, a point on the line, and the slope of K, the slope of a line. We are told that K contains the point 1, 1. As K is perpendicular to L, we will be able to figure out the slope of K from the slope of L. So this little symbol here means perpendicular. So the slope of L. Write the equation of L in the form of y equals mx plus c, where the m represents the slope and the c represents the y-intercept, which is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. So the line L is 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. So we write that down, 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. And we basically want to rearrange it so that we have y as the subject of the formula. So we want to solve for y. So we're going to start off by bringing the 3x over the equal sign. And it becomes minus 3x. So we have minus 2y equals minus 3x plus 6. Now we're going to change the signs of the entire equation. So minus 2y becomes 2y. Minus 3x becomes 3x. Plus 6 becomes minus 6. And now to get the y in its own, we need to divide across by 2. 3x divided by 2 is 3 over 2x. And minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So now we have the y in its own. And we have y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. So the slope of the line is the number that's stuck onto the x, which in this case is 3 over 2. And the y-intercept is minus 3. Now we don't need the y-intercept at this point, but it is good to know what that means. So the slope of the line is the number that's stuck onto the x, which is 3 over 2. So the slope of the line L is 3 over 2. Therefore, the slope of K is minus 2 over 3. So perpendicular slopes, in order to find them, we turn the fraction upside down and we change the sign. So 3 over 2, we turn it upside down, it becomes 2 over 3, and the plus becomes a minus. So to find the slope of a line that's perpendicular to another line, we turn the fraction upside down and we change the sign. So the slope of the line that we're trying to find is minus 2 over 3. So... In order to find the equation of k, we need a point on k, which we have, which is 1, 1, and the slope of k, which we have, which is minus 2 over 3. So now we're going to substitute the point and the slope into the equation of the line formula to get the equation of k. So the point on k is 1, 1, and the slope of k is minus 2 over 3. And we're going to use the formula from our formula book for the equation of a straight line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're going to label our point x1, y1. So we have x1, y1. And minus 2 over 3 is going to be equal to m, so m represents the slope. So using the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, we can now find the equation of k. So we swap y1 for 1, we swap m for minus 2 over 3, and we swap x1 for 1. So we have y minus 1 equals minus 2 over 3x minus 1. So to get rid of the fraction part, we're going to multiply by the denominator. So we're going to multiply across by 3. So y minus 1 multiplied by 3 will be 3 times y minus 1. And minus 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 will be minus 2. And that's all times x minus 1. Then 3 by y is 3y. 3 by minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 2 by x is minus 2x. Minus 2 by minus 1 is plus 2. And then we're going to bring the numbers to the right and the letters to the left. So the minus 3 comes over the equal sign, becomes plus 3. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And then the minus 2x comes over the equal sign and becomes plus 2x. 
So k is going to be 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. So this is the equation of k. And we've written it in the same format as the line L, which was 3x minus 2y equals 6. So basically the x and the y on the left are the equal sign and the constant on the right. So that's the same format as we've written this line in. However, we could write our line in the form of y equals mx plus c. So what we do is we bring down the y minus 1 and the equals. And then we say minus 2 over 3 times x is minus 2 over 3x. And minus 2 over 3 times minus 1 is plus 2 over 3. And then all we have to do is bring the minus 1 over the equal sign and becomes plus 1. And then we just simplify by putting the constants together. And we end up with y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 5 over 3. So this is also the equation of the line. It's just written in a different format. It's written in the format of y equals mx plus c. So y equals mx plus c, m being the slope, which is minus 2 over 3, and the number at the end being the y-intercept. So the, we expect the line to cross the y-axis at 5 over 3.